Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Pascal coin via a mining pool. So, a lot of people have been wanting to mine Pascal coin, but due to the actual uh, difficulty, it's been really hard for people to mine unless you have a massive GPU mining farm, which most people don't, including myself. So, uh, NanoPool has released a pool version uh, that you can mine to uh, with Pascal coin. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set that up, mine to the pool, and then you can uh, receive your rewards um, to your um, crypto exchange address. So we're going to be mining to NanoPool, and then NanoPool will be paying out to Polonix in this case, but you can also set it up for other exchanges should you wish. So that kind of um, makes it easier to receive your rewards um, and takes out the whole problem of um, setting up an account. Uh, creating an address within the Pascal coin wallet and all that sort of stuff. So I'm actually going to be doing this for the very first time. I'm going to be setting it up um, step by step um, and hopefully it all goes well. You can follow along with me and um, yeah, you get up and running uh, with your mining sort of um, efforts. So the first part is the NanoPool website. So it's pasc.nanopool.org and that's the actual pool that we're going to be using. So from there, this is the actual main page. You can see the top miners, who's doing what, uh, and a few other different bits of information. Um, if what we want to do first is uh, at the very top, we've got this bait test, and it says, "Do not use the official Pascal Coin miner. Use our modified miner." So if you click on that page, and it takes you to uh, this GitHub resource um, here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download that now. So it's Pascal Coin miner version one, and we'll download that. That will just go to our downloads folder. Um, also, I've opened up my uh, Polonix, and this is where I do a lot of my crypto exchanges and stuff. Um, and just to sort of uh, show you, so if you go to if you log into your um, exchange account, and then if you go to deposits and withdrawals, if you type pass, it should come up Pascal, and then you want to look for the deposit address, deposit details like you would for any other coins. So there's two parts. One is the Pascal coin payload, which is this part here. That's going to be your payment ID. And then we've got a deposit address, which is this part here. So we need those two details. We'll come back to those in just a moment. So we've got the miner, a couple of DLLs, a readme, and a start.bat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this batch file. So Control and C, and then Control and V, and just uh, paste it back there. And I'll just rename it to something more appropriate. So this is the file, and we can just edit it. Just go to more info, and we will show uh, run this anyway. It's kind of strange because we're not actually running it at that point; we're only editing the file. Anyway, so we've got our batch file, and this is what we're going to be use. Uh, we're going to customize this to match our our own configuration. So we've got the call to the actual Pascal coin miner, then we've got this S which is for the actual pool address. So I'm just going to check that address but it'd probably be the one that's most appropriate for me because um, I'm in the UK so normally I connect to European pools. Uh, let's just double check. So there's two European pools and that's the one that I'm going to be using there. So that's fine for me and just double check the uh, port number. That's also fine as well. So the next part is the platform ID. So I've already talked about this in previous videos. Um, most platform IDs will be normally for zero. Um, if you have multiple devices in your machine, so for example, your GPU devices might be on platform zero, but your CPU devices might be on platform one. Sometimes it can be different, but for most people, platform zero is what you're normally going to use. Then you've got this dash D for devices. Um, in this case, I'm just going to be using, this machine has two GPUs. So I'm going to be using device 0 and device 1. Um, if you've only got one GPU, it's probably going to be either 0 or 1. Uh, just to give you a reference there. So then the next part is this address, payment ID, uh, and then worker details. So the address that we want to use is from our Polonix account. So this is the address. So I'm just going to copy that. Go back to the batch file. And I'm just going to paste it. So we paste it just before the full stop. Then we've got this payment ID, so I'm going to copy that part now. Just going to go over the top of that. 
Then we've got a nickname for our worker. This is just something that you can make up, so I'm just going to just call it worker1. And then we've got an email. So I'm just going to write email. At bit. The email address is just for um, worker notifications. So if your miner goes down, you'll get like an email notification. Um, and that should be it. So I'm just going to double check it, make sure everything looks about right. Uh, just go back to the uh, nano coin pool. And I'm just going to compare my one to see how it looks to the others. So we've got, yep. So we've got our payment address, a payment ID, worker name, and then a slash, then an email address. Um, so that looks about right. Um, okay. So let's go back to the uh, notepad. We can go to file. We can save it now. Uh, just to show you, um, as always, if you go to like save as, you want to make sure that you've got the file name dot bat, and then always change it to all files. Otherwise, it'll get saved as a text file. And then we can save that. I'm just going to overwrite it in this instance. So that's our batch file done. So from here, we should be basically ready to go. So come back to the actual downloads folder and then where we extracted the miner from itself. Uh, the GPUs are kind of just set to auto um, and default settings. Um, so we should be able to start up the miner now and hopefully it will work. So let's double click on the miner and get it up and running. Okay, so I can see that we've got minor name, it's got the uh, the exchange deposit details, the worker reference, all that kind of business. Then we've got the two miners that are running and they're picking up speed um, slowly. So they look like they're heading in the right direction. I know one of them runs a little bit slower unless I adjust the, uh, the power limit. Um, just a bit of a, a NAF GPU there. And then from here on, we should be able to um, pick up some shares I report them to the pool and then we should be making some progress. Um, I do believe that we can actually check on the actual pool for our stats. Okay, so yeah, at the top we've got this address and, and payment ID. So I'm not too sure how long it will take to actually refresh, but if I... I'll copy the address first. I'm not too sure what is the best one to use for searching. Okay, so the first part is the address. So it looks like it's picking up all of the uh, people that are working on uh, Polonix. So it's probably better to search using our payment ID. So I'll just paste that in there and see if we have anything um, as of yet. Okay, so it's not found the address yet. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave it running just for a little while longer and then you know this page should open hopefully update and um, so that normally it can take 10 to 20 minutes to update but um, it kind of looks like everything is okay so I'm pretty sure everything is running as it should be quite happy with everything um, so I'm just gonna leave that running okay guys so just very quickly uh, just whilst I was actually editing this video just for the upload I just went back to the nano pool just to double check see if we've got any good results and um, these are the uh, kind of the results earning so I've been kind of a mining on and off whilst I've been uh, just editing this video and you can see here uh, this is whereabouts we are at. So I um, just wanted to share that little bit of uh, information with you. You can see we've got the work one reference, the last year was 24 minutes ago and then we've got an average, obviously that average will pick up as we mine more and more to the actual pool. So just wanted to share that with you uh, very quickly. Okay guys, so hopefully you're up and running with the nano pool Pascal Coin Miner and hopefully you'll start getting some rewards um, shortly after applying this um, knowledge <laughs> and uh, to your own uh, mining devices. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.